Well, that was weird. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Don't crash recording software. So it's now half past 11 on the same day. I kind of working non-stop. End of the year, 15th today. Gotta get some shit done, you know what I'm saying? Do you ever get that feeling like you just gotta do something? Now, excuse me while I move my various wires around so I can access my 360 controller. Okay. Wee boop. Wee boop. A sun hat. Oh, that bandana is... No, the nice hat gives me a bit more defense. But slows me down and... Ah, I'll take it. Who wears the sun hat? The wolf boy. Doggo. Good thing I can't name these people. Everything kind of ups it, but at a cost. I'll take the sun hat. Okay, ride it back over to here. Damn it. Oh, it's just war hogs. <laughs> Fast forward mode. It's brutal. But uh, if you ever played this on the Game Boy, the GBA back in the day, woof. Anyway, uh, damn it. You'd be grateful for fast forward mode. Alright. Dungeoneers. Let's get dungeoneering. We go back across again. And now we have a choice of two. This one gets us a, a, a shield, I think. Skeleton Riders. How's my health? Oh! Oh! Getting a bit low on the U. An iron shield. Ooh. That pops our active and our magic defense down, but it does boost our defense, and that's the only stat I really care about. <laughs> it's a platform puzzle, kids. Don't worry about it. I think that's a Feath Cloak. Yeah. Lowe's is active, but massively ups his defense. More money. Now we go back. Whee! And we're on the other side of that there door. Did you see that, kids? Make a savey state. And go uppity stairs. Uh, this is an acorn. Um, oh god. Um, yeah, if you haven't noticed, this is a, another dungeon where the gimmick is moving the platforms. So there's an acorn there. I'm going to go here. And you're like, get off, get off. But no. East, south, west. A 
gonna get a hairband. Massive up on that one. Yeah. This gets us, I think this is... Oh, damn it. Go away, skeleton riders. This gets us a herb, which we'll probably eat in a minute. More skeleton riders. Oh, we're getting a bit low on health again. Might just eat that herb. Yum, 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 yum. And that gives us a bracelet, which I think we can give to Nina. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing there. Yeah, lowers our magic defense, lowers our active, lowers our intelligence, but ups our defense, which is all that matters. Now we go up here. Which gets us to here. And then we get into a random encounter, because it's an old school JRPG. <laughs> but I have fast forward. Where is your god now? And they get into the same random encounter again. We're getting lots of EP and GP. We've got loads of EP and GP. We've got loads. Right. Up. I'm going to go around here. There was a, a feature in PC Gamer about dudes who used to draw the old uh, game maps. Hmm, ominous orb. Now, this is a boss fight, so naturally, we're going to save state because I'm a bitch. Uh, it's a boss. It's, it's, I forget what he's called. I'm the boss that guards the key. He's he's very open about what he is and what he does. You want to test your strength? Yes, I do, but I didn't heal beforehand, so this could be... Right. Just hit that guy. If you could attack up, and then you hit as well. Yeah, he hits like a truck, and it's uh, AoE, so... And I do fuck all. Right. Well, how would you like to be fried? Uh, can I hold him? Ow. Jesus. No, I can't hold him. Right. Let's try flame. You... Position heal thyself. Do I have anything to throw? Throw the fire at him. Ow. Yeah, he's a bit of a. Bit of a. Let's do frost. Just keep curing. Cure bow now. Uh, I guess you just hit the wisp. It really doesn't matter what spell you use, although we have run out of AP, so just attack. Uh, heal. Are you? And are you? Hit. Out. 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 Uh, can I throw anything? No, you can't really throw anything, can you?
I could use an acorn, but let's just use flare on him. Uh, cure yourself and hit him. Now. Yeah, he doesn't really care, does he? Can you do attack up on bow as well? Now. <laughs> okay. Hit him. Uh, hit him again. And hit him again. Oh, got him. 1,200 EP and 300 GP acquired. Ryu reaches level 15. HP up 6, AP up 5, Strength up 5, Vigor up 4, Agility up 5, Wisdom up 2, Luck up 3. Yay! Well done, Ryu. You deserve the key. Search this pillar. And push A on the pillar and it does some shit. We get the wing key. Yay. Unfortunately, we took an absolute beating there. Uh, use, an, use two acorns. Don't really want to use two acorns, but it is what it is. So we'll make a save state now. <clears throat> we defeated the guardian of the pillar. Yay. <clears throat> now we can just leave <laughs> believe it or not it's locked it is locked die zombies die we don't really need to do anything else, so we can just leave the Tower of Babel. Weirdly. If I can remember how to leave. I don't remember how... Oh, God. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. I will work out how to leave the Tower of Babel. Or oh, I can't remember what this tower is called now. Um... Crud. <laughs> this way? Yeah, it is. It is right. Get on with it. Come on, Bo. We'll show these goons how to leave. It locked. That's the problem with this, is you fight all the way in, and then this is one of those games that makes you fight all the way out again. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, it doesn't teleport you out. Modern RPGs would teleport you out or put you near the exit. Um, this one done. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do that, kids. Uh, I can't remember where the exit was, because that was this morning I was recording, and this is still this morning. Actually, it's 11.43. Nina reaches level 14, HP up 5, AP up 7, Strength up 2, Vigor up 3, Agility up 3, Wisdom up 4, Luck up 3. The spell of Zom 1 has been learned. We can Zom people. God damn it. Can't remember how to get out of here. <laughs> Shouldn't have stopped playing. Die. Monster. Bo can't break the wall. Uh... Nina can't break the wall. I don't think Ryu can either. Ryu can't break the wall. We need the strong chap, but... We need Bo in front, because we need to walk out of here. Assuming I ever get out of here. I mean, I have just wasted 45 minutes 
Uh, do you know what? We'll cut to when we're out, because... I mean, it's good experience, at least. Bo reached level 13, literally the next fight. Uh, HP up 9, AP up 1, Strength up 3, Vigor up 3, Agility up 4, Wisdom up 3, Luck up 3. Um, it's locked. Where's the friggin' exit? There we go, I'm out! <laughs> like, four fights later, but you didn't need to see that. Right. Right. We're out. It is accomplished. Really, Slimes? You want to do this? The monster left an antidote. Cool. want to go, <laughs> I know where I want to go, I want to go back to Tanta. Um, I don't remember where Tanta is because I've been listening to Ronnie James Dio all, all morning and doing stuff. It's not this way, it is this, yeah it's that way, right. Go away scrub encounters. Punching things and doing stuff and generally being unpleasant. It's, it's kind of my my thing. Zombies. Not zombies. Tantas down here, right? A single zombie. Hey, it's all XP and EP and that's and GP. Right, go into Tanta. Thank you. First thing we want to do is pop into the inn and rest up. 60 GP sounds like a plan. <coughs> yes, I did. I will visit you again. Then we go to the Dragon Shrine to make a hard save because, again, all these save states you're not supposed to be doing that. You can save at any point by, by shutting the game down. Oh, but uh, that's not what you're supposed to do. Right. Let us leave Tanta. Now we want to go back across. <laughs> this is the bit where, if you know where to go, you're alright. I, ah, no, we don't want to go there. God, I can remember playing this. Uh, look at all these birdies and thingies. Right. Damn it. We basically want to follow this road until... Uh, this, I think. We want to go and talk to the giant... Um, Damn it. There was something I showed off in an earlier video, but we didn't actually come and explore, but I don't I have to remember how to get there. Uh, penis monsters and pigs. Oh, there's a war going on in my house, apparently. Where's the giant robot? I mean, what giant robot? I've never played this. I have no idea what this game's about. I don't know there's a giant robot. There's a dragony thing there. Ah, damn it. Somewhere around here is a giant robot that totally isn't there because we're playing this as a surprise. Kill, kill all those chaps. We are supposed to be taking what is known as an expediated path through the game. Somewhere around here is a giant robot. I'll be good goddamned if I can remember where it is. 
I mean, I could look at my directions, but that would be boring. I, there it is. There's a giant robot. I just saw his head. <coughs> that was a sneeze. I do apologize. There's the giant robot. Right. There's something about these old uh, RPGs that they just had giant robots and you just just roll with it, dude. At least we're getting a load of GP and XP and EP and AP and MP and DP. And we're killing lots of zombies and you're always having a good time. Oh god, um, someone's been turned into a zombie there. Sorry about that, are you? That's me fast forwarding too much. Here's the giant robot. Right, found the giant robot. There's always a giant robot. Or it's the moon, or something stupid like that. Anyway. Huh. I'm supposed to be able to go into the robot. I don't know what I've done wrong. Uh. There we go. I'm in the robot now. Right. <laughs> right. So this is the giant. Because I'm your best friend and I fast forward through all of this stuff. And if I'm not your best friend, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't have any friends and I just, uh, I just, just need some friends. It saw me going for the chests. It saw me going for the chests. I probably should have cut that, um, until I found the giant robot. I knew it was around there somewhere. A bronze helmet, was that? Or a bronze hat. A bronze hat. It's not as good as the one I've got. I think I'm good with what I've got. Right. Zombies. Dungeons. Man, back in the day, just doing that would have taken forever. I mean, it still kind of took forever. Oh, look, what's that? That's uh, one of those things. But we want to ignore that. So, do you see all these uh, telemajigs? the frig is that? Ah, uh, he was a bit burlier. I don't like that one. Herb up. We're gonna have to herb up because we got a boss fight. We've got to rematch against that chap. Yeah. I control the stone robot. Give me that key. And... Let's fight the dude and his, uh... We don't really have any... Ow. Go away, General. Oh, damn! Okay, uh, can you fry him? Ow! Yeah, Nina, you're pathetic. 
Right. Can you spark that guy, hit that guy, and cure that guy? Ow. <laughs> okay, um... Just everyone hit that guy, because I thought he would be dead and he's not. So clearly I've done something very wrong. Oh, now you do 111 damage? What, what the hell was that? 1,873 EP and 650 GP acquired, friends. We killed the general. The key works that we picked up, and, and yeah, the thing we're in is alive now, which is creepy as, as all frig. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Breath of Fire, kids. We are, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So all of these uh, teleporters are on. We have to follow a very specific path to get out of here. got an acorn I'm panicking cuz uh, oh god I can remember getting lost in here as a bear and we're back here should be a marble yeah marble and then it takes you all the way back here You have no idea how disturbingly uh, difficult that was <laughs> to not keep looping back on myself. The key works. We've done a thing. Nina says, Robot, take us to the lake. Well, never mind. This was supposed to be slightly different, but this is this is how it's going to be. Pay no heed to the man behind the curtain. Anyway, the big old robot 
When we destroy the rock, we'll restore the river. Nina, robot, use your power to destroy the rock. And it uses its laser beam. Oh look, there's a little cave in the river. Huh, 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 see that? Don't pay no mind. Pay no heed to the man behind the curtain. Ryu, we did it. Yes, now we can return to the village. And then they just, uh, yeah. We step back here, it should take us to the heart again. And then we just walk out. Mission accomplished. Look at him. Look at this good robot. I don't want to fight you, zombie. God damn. Go away. <clears throat> Just uh, do a thing here. Boop. Yes. I'll tell you the fuck out of my story, son. I should probably rest for the night. Yeah. See, I kind of wish that dragon statues would heal you because 60 GP. I mean, it's not a lot, but uh, surely we can just punch her and sleep in her bed. Is that not what you do in Skyrim? I don't know. I never actually beat Skyrim. I'm not very good at open world games. I like my linear adventures. Like, this one isn't linear. You can wander around for ages to work out how to do all the shit I'm doing. Or you could just... do what I'm doing. Anyway, we want to go to the Chief's house. Which was this one. No, this is the Blacksmith's house. It's the big one. Our two villages will continue to work together. Yeah, they'll all go on about how cooperation, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Hey, dude. Ryu, you should look for the ring. It is hidden in a cave upstream. And he pushes his chair out of the way. The key is down below. But, I mean, technically we should talk to him. But he, all he says is the key is down below. Thanks, Dogman. And in his basement are some treasure chests. An herb. Your sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. And there's a key. And that was the stone golem in Valarath of Fire. Pretty cool dungeon. The whole turning it on. It's an absolute mess if you don't know what you're doing or have very specific constructions, but um, constructions, instructions. But yeah, the two villages are now one. It's great. Everyone loves each other. Breath of fire, ladies and gentlemen.